In the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, Saint Joseph, and Saint Teresa, pray for us. <laughs> now here, I'm actually moving my finger more towards the D string so that I can do that transition. Obviously, I'm gonna have to keep practicing that one. It's uh, tricky, you know. And I'm doing air thumb here. Just makes it so much easier to do that. I almost call it like an embellishment or something. I don't think of the notes or anything. I definitely wouldn't do uh, elevator arm there. I just don't feel it, you know. More towards the end of that phrase. There's elevator arm, okay? You say, well, why can't you hear it? Well, I don't have Ross on my bow, but actually my bows probably needs to be rehaired too, you know? So here. That's where, and I'm sorry I can't really see very well, but that's where I'm kind of just touching with the side of my finger. down harder but to be honest it's just gonna make my forearm hurt and I've got more I want to play and what's the big deal it's not like I said it's not like I'm auditioning for anything so who cares you know here my first finger does want to stay a little bit too much Now I've changed this to want to be just, I should actually make it my strokes even smaller there. I want to see on the string because I was kind of bouncing up and down and I was making my forearm hurt so bad when I was doing that. You practice it like this. And then just add a little bit of motion later, but for now it's just going to be kind of like no sound, you know. And when we're comfortable, we can start just adding a tiny little bit. But for now, let's try to keep it as tiny, tiny as possible. I actually have thought about keeping my bow on the string and just moving it over. So that, even though my bow's on the string, I'm still getting that note. Except that I want to start here. So I kind of have to go down like okay? I haven't figured that one out. Now this, this helped a lot more when I just tried to make my fingers, like I said, I'm using the side of my fingers, so I'm weaving in and out between the D and the, the A string on such a fast passage that I don't want to lose any time, so I'm putting it, I'm sorry it's so hard to see, but I'm actually just playing with the sides of my finger. And here, I started moving my fingers so they're in between now the A and the E string, just to be able to get those. make this shorter because I don't want to do that whole long crescendo. It's just kind of like cut. So I cut out a measure there. And yeah, maybe I'll shorten that ending too because it seems to be kind of redundant and long. It's just like, you know, like this in the end. It just kind of gets like a little too crazy for me. And also just having to cross all those strings. So I may try to simplify that as well. <laughs> 